Well, a sinkhole opened up a road nearly washed out and at least one driveway collapsed last night in a mountain neighborhood. And now tonight, with more rain coming, some Weaverville residents are bracing to get hit again. News 13's Ashley Searles joins us live. It's right off of Heron Cove Road. Damage, the damages there are still not repaired. Is that right, Ashley? That's right. As more rains are expected tonight, you can see this sinkhole is still sitting wide open, hasn't been repaired yet, and it has some residents questioning tonight if that barricade is going to be big enough come tomorrow morning. I have about a half a dozen trucks that need to come in and out of here every day so that my workers stay employed. Going into tonight, Steve Eckrich is worried. My driveway into my business is getting ready to collapse into that. A culvert collapsed on Herring Cove Road last night, opening up a sinkhole. And not long after, about 2 a.m., Eckridge got a call that his business was flooding, and he's been awake ever since. We've been out here all night with a skid steer piling rock on this side of it, trying to stop it from going anymore. Okay, so. and was that effective? for a while. <laughs> the sinkhole's gotten about 15 feet bigger since daybreak. Neighbors say one brazen school bus driver bumped a barricade away to drive over it hours before the road fell through. That's a big concern because I have kids on that bus. The bus driver driving over the sinkhole or around it and then stopping and looking at it. Residents just down the road have more trouble. One key street flooded, making asphalt into flakes last night. A car actually got stuck on the asphalt at 3 o'clock this morning. <laughs> So we moved the asphalt and got it to where I can get in and out. Just yards from that spot, more than 12 hours after the rain stopped, water is still pouring over the road. It stopped raining for a minute, and the next thing you hear is like, whoa, I guess it's all the water coming off the mountains and stuff. With inches more rain on the way here, residents know there could be a washout. The culvert, that's our only way out. So if it goes, we have no way out. Now, the areas we saw today that had the worst damage were actually State Road, residents said, and they say DOT crews have been made aware, but they're still sort of waiting to get checked on after all the damage that we've seen in the last 24 hours. But you can maybe tell here the wind's picking up a little bit. Neighbors out here told us today they're not really questioning, is the damage going to happen? Is there going to be more? They're asking, how much worse is it going to be? Reporting live tonight in Weaverville, Ashley Searles, News 13.